Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the Sherlock utility that comes with Kali Linux. But first, before we proceed any further, I would like to thank my channel member, Mislav. They get early access to videos like this one here, and they also get a little badge next to their name on comments, as well as live streams saying that they support me. Anyway, let's get into the video now. Some of you, or most of you, may have heard about the Linux operating system called Kali. It is mainly known as a hacker operating system. It is primarily designed around security, penetration testing, and all-around uh, full advantage for main getting into systems. It's mainly used by penetration testers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the Sherlock tool. The Sherlock tool is an open source intelligence tool that is designed to find user accounts based off a list of available websites and then deliver said user accounts. So it's mainly used for open source intelligence. So, what we first need to do is, because Sherlock is not installed, as we can see, we can install it with Git, but we're not going to. We're going to get it straight from the repository. So to do that, we're going to clone the repository. So git clone https colon slash slash github.com slash sherlock sherlock project slash sherlock dot git. What this is now doing, it is it is getting the Sherlock repository from GitHub. Uh, I will leave a link to this repository in the description below. Once we have got that, we need to CD into Sherlock. And now that we have this, if we just do ls and then ls hyphen la, what we have here is everything. Now what we want to do is we need to install the required packages so to do that we do python 3 hyphen m pip space install hyphen r requirements dot txt so what this will do is it will then pull the requirements from that file but to do that we can just have a quick look at cat and then requirements dot txt as we can see here it's asking for all of these of these versions so what we can do is, once again, we just do python3, hyphen m, pip install, hyphen r, requirements, dot txt. So no pip, no, no module named pip, so what we need to do is python3 install pip, uh, sudo apt install. So, that's what we want to do. In this case, it's just going to download all 397 megabytes for me. Now, in the case of your system, you may or may not have PIP3 installed. Uh, as I did not have PIP installed because this is a fresh system, this is an expected outcome. So, what we just need to do is wait for this to finish downloading. Uh, whilst we're waiting for this to finish downloading, maybe consider subscribing where you can get access to videos like these or even becoming a channel member where you get early access to videos like these right here so whilst we wait for this to finish it's got like, 23 seconds so that's no bother really uh we'll just go over some of the reasons why you might want to use sherlock it was it has initially been designed as a open source intelligent Uh, that it is an open source intelligence tool uh, that is designed to scrape the internet for usernames for all sorts of websites. So a person can then get a greater knowledge of who you are, which websites you go to, and what websites actually publish said user data. Now, there is a list of websites that are known and that can easily be accessed by 
um, Sherlock. So I will take you through a list of some of them, bearing in mind there are currently 408 websites that are searchable by uh, Sherlock. I'll go through the top 10. So, well, the top 10 in the list. It's 1337X, 2D Dimensions, 3D News, 7 Cups, 8 Tracks, 9 Gags, AP Clips, uh, About.me, Acad Academia.edu, and AdmireMe.vip. See, these are the top 10, well, these are the 10 uh, first searchable sites. So these have accessible names, accessible checks, so you can go through them. Uh, on this list is also Apple Developer and Apple uh, Discussions, which is a strange one. Uh, there is Buy Me A Coffee, Blogger, Bodybuilding, CTAN, Car Talk Community, Cloudflare Community, Codebug, Cracked, Envato, Etsy, Flickr, Flight Radar 24, which kind of makes sense. Uh, Fostodon, so Mastodon, but the... Uh, FOSS version or free open source software, so you'll find me on that one. Google Play, GitHub, GitLab, Hashnode, uh, Hub Pages, Imgur, uh, Issue, Law, Congregate, LinkedIn, Linktree, uh, National Sites Nation, Region, uh, Open Source, Open Street Map, Polymart, Product Hunt, Rate Your Music, Redbubble Slides, uh, Smug Mug, so just a lot of websites in general. Bear in mind, there are 408 searchable sites that you can then go through. Now, this is a fantastic tool to search that can then be used to search and find out if you forgot about websites that you don't know about. So we're just waiting for the this to finish going through the process of installing and getting set up. So, whilst we do, I will mention that there have been some websites removed from this list. Now, unfortunately, uh, there is a reason for... Well, there will be a reason for these uh, some websites being removed. Uh, Adobe Forums uh, had... As of the 12th of April, 2020, um, the users' usernames are not able to be found anymore um, for Basecamp. In, again, in 2020, all usernames are reported as not existing. Uh, Fanpop, Fanpop uh, Canva, Pixabay, uh, NPM package, uh, Pixabay were not reporting. NPM packages are not users, apparently. Uh, Pexels were not reporting as, as existing. Rambler dating, uh, site is always timing out. Yandex market, all usernames are reported as existing. So any username would show up as a guarantee, even though it didn't exist. Uh, Kiwi Farms gives a 403 for all usernames. Uh, Technic, uh, the site causes Sherlock to just hang, which is unfortunate. Uh, Foursquare, when the usage of an automated tool is detected, whole IP is banned for future requests. This is an error message. Please verify your human uh, your human access to this page has been denied because we believe you're using an automation tool to browse the site, which it kind of was. Uh, Eve Online, usernames that, are, that exists are not detected, which is kind of annoying. So, it goes through a list of things that needed to be done and found. So, whilst we're to the finish, we'll just sit here and wait. Okay, so now that we have finally installed PIP, I know that took a while. Uh, once we've now, now that we've got PIP installed, what we need to do is, once again, we just do a quick LA. All of those errors. And now install the requirements so as we can see here it's downloading it's going through the process uh this fancy bar here is just something to do with the fact that this is oh my zsh uh oh my zsh is installed uh, as standard with all Kali Linux installs if you ask me that looks pretty damn nice i 
I love the fact that that's installed, but there we go. Now we just need to wait for this to go through the process of downloading and collecting every single package which it needs and all the dependencies that are required for it. So in this case, it's not that many uh, because it's already all there. Well, the majority of the packages are all there. I, when I installed Ali Linux, uh, I chose not to install all of the packages. I'm not to not chose not to install the recommended install everything. And the reason being for this is because last time I remember last time I installed Kali Linux, it took about two, three hours maybe to download and install everything. Even back when I was in the UK with really bloody good internet because of the amount of stuff that was downloading. And I have no idea why. So I just said, install the base. Don't worry about it. So I'd recommend to you, install only the base pack, only the base, uh, base version of the operating system. So you can then go through the process of installing exactly what you want and go from there so you don't have to wait ages. Because I've given this what, eight, 8 gigs of RAM and 6 cores and it still took quite a while to install. So, now we are just waiting for the final part to install, so we'll just sit and wait. Okay, so now that we have successfully installed, what we want to do is we just clear the window, and if you just look here, this is how long it has taken to install this. Uh, the reason why this is performing slow is because apparently my host system is missing a package for... I don't know what it is. We'll, I'll figure that out later. But now it's time to use Sherlock. So best thing to do is Sherlock help. And this will give us a... It should have given us... I bet. Let's try that again. Sherlock. There we go. So, now that we've done that, we want to do Python 3, Sherlock, at Sherlock, help. Huh? Okay, let's try this again. There we go. So, as we can see, here is all of the arguments we can give it. So we can ask it to browse all results on a default browser, tell it to search porn sites, go through the entire process of this, that, and the other. But what we just want to do is just do a quick search. So what we will do is we'll search for me. So in this case, we just do Python 3, uh, Sherlock, and then... Linux panic. So what this will then do is it will then query every single website that it can come across that is not uh, NSFW sites because with this, huh? I didn't know I had a Blogspot site. Hold on, what? Uh. We learned something new today, children. Okay, so that blogspot site is not me, but apparently, I there's someone with the same username. Uh, yes, I have a Duolingo because I'm attempting to learn Finnish. Uh, Fostered on, as I said, you'd find me there. But this will just this then queries all four hundred and eight sites if I tell it to do it with the uh, NSFW sites. But because I didn't tell it to do the NSFW sites, uh, it will then go through all of them except for the NSFW. So again, probably around about three hundred and ninety-ish sites, 
and then query and go are you here and in this case no but this is again how to install and use uh sherlock i'll be showing you how to use more kali linux tools in the future hopefully i will have fixed the issues i've been having and then we'll go from there Anyway, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. They both seem to work, but you can only see one of them. Uh, I have been Nick. You have been amazing. Remember, news Linux, don't panic. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and goodbye.